It was recently declared in that uh, analysis done for the Pfizer vaccine that uh, about 50% of people after being vaccinated uh, had um, some degree of fatigue uh, and aching at the very beginning. Uh, and then a third of people had um, fevers and chills. All of these were very short-lived. One of the points to make, particularly related to the, to the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines, is we've not seen generally response rates this high. And that's where we get the 95% protection rates. This parallels what we see with such vaccines as tetanus, measles, mumps, rubella, among others. And that's just extraordinary. There was a preliminary report that was prepared and it did indicate that the Pfizer vaccine met its safety and efficacy goals. So emergency use authorization is the first step to full FDA approval later. But it does mean that on the basis of the EUA, as we call it, you can begin to use that product. The priority list will include um, people living in congregate living facilities, particularly nursing homes, uh, and their caregivers, as well as frontline health caregivers and first responders. Uh, this will then be followed by individuals that are so-called essential workers, truck drivers, in agriculture, in grocery stores, and things like that. And the third fa uh, phase one distribution will be in individuals that are at or greater than the age of 65 and also have vulnerable conditions uh, that place them at risk for complications and death due to COVID. And that will include underrepresented minorities where there's been a higher rate of acquisition, complications and death as well. We expect to see a uh, distribution for the general public around April or May uh, in conjunction with uh, increased manufacturing of these vaccines. Pfizer uh, analyzed their information after a single dose and found even 10 days uh, afterwards, there were, was a rate of effectiveness of 54%, uh, and then it climbed steadily to the 95% level thereafter, at, after the second dose. So the point is, the second dose really maximizes the immune response, and we're gonna have to do everything we can once someone is first vaccinated to get them back. It's safe and it's effective, and an efficacy rate that's beyond our wildest, as I said. Uh, but I think so far, we should be reassured by that. And that's going to be part of the educational campaign going into this to convince those people that are hesitant to take the vaccine that this is the right thing to do. Not only to protect themselves, but in their communities to protect them and the general population.